Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. According to the Monday, February 12 spoilers for The Young and the Restless, Ashley Abbott will experience a profound feeling of betrayal as Jack Abbott, Tressie Abbott, and Diane Jenkins Abbott start to question her version of events. Even after Ashley learns that Tracy also interrogated the other waiters, she will remain persuaded that Tucker McCall gone so far as to bribe the cafe server. Tracy will admit to providing bribes of her own, but the workers remain steadfast in their assertions of frequent disagreements and decline to take a wage increase. That will persuade Tressie that the folks she spoke with were telling the truth, but according to Y and R spoilers, Ashley will speculate that Tucker may have exerted some sort of coercion. Diane will chastise Jack and Tressie for handling Ashley's outburst as she tries to act like she's crazy and walks out in a huff. Tressie doesn't think Ashley can move past Diane's suggestion that the main focus should be on Ashley's release from Tucker until she learns the whole truth. Tucker will argue with Audra Charles in his suite on his reasons for watching Ashley. Tucker will make an effort to convince Audra that he is only keeping an eye on Ashley so he can stay away from her. Even if Audra won't believe it, she will gradually stop talking about Ashley and start taking more of Tucker's praises. As Audra and Tucker become more flirtatious, Ashley can be heard pounding on the door and losing her mind as she tries to persuade Tucker to open up. Tucker will decide to focus on Audra, so as Ashley drinks downstairs and texts Tucker to arrange a meeting as soon as possible, they will be making love. When Chelsea Lawson briefs Billy Abbott as society about Connor Newman's school troubles, which will be much worse than she had anticipated, he will comfort her. There will be many reasons to be concerned about Connor, including his constant handwashing and inability to focus in class. Billy will be hopeful about the school's professionals helping Connor, so Chelsea will attempt to trust that too. Billy will make fun of Tucker and share his negative view of him when Chelsea inquires about what's going on in his world and they discuss their earlier run-in. Billy will bring up the fact that Tucker made a comment about being power-hungry that really stuck with him. Tucker added that he would love to see Billy take aim at Jeboat and include it into Chancellor Winters, though Billy will make it clear that's not actually what he would do. Even so, Billy will consider modifications are unnecessary when it comes to Chancellor Winter's name. Billy will propose Abbott Winters in place of Jill Abbott because she is a significant contributor to the business and isn't fairly represented. Given that it's a kind homage to Catherine Chancellor, Chelsea won't seem to be convinced to exclude the Chancellor name. Instead, Billy will advocate for Abbott Chancellor Winters, or AC Dye. Chelsea will assume that Devon Hamilton Winters will disagree with Billy on this. Chelsea will also note that Billy and Jill have the same last name, so she'll assume that by making sure his mother is acknowledged, Billy is asserting a claim of his own. At the ranch, Victoria Newman will acknowledge that she was aware of Jordan's possible escape because Nikki Newman will be honest with her about her worst mistake to date. In the end, Nikki will acknowledge that she received several disconnected, silent calls, one of which included the well-known stripper tune. She will also feel that someone ought to have warned her that insane Jordan was on the loose. Nikki will have a nightmare about being homeless and drinking on the streets, waking up in a panic after she's done resting. When Nikki wakes up, she'll be alarmed, so she'll phone Jack to ask for help and assurance that he'll stop by the ranch whenever she can. As Diane watches him on the phone, she will appear anxious about the burgeoning relationship between Jack and Nikki. Victor will learn from Victoria back in his living room that Claire Grace alluded to Jordan creating a fire as a diversion. Victor can be sure that his security staff can take care of keeping everyone in the Newman family safe if Jordan is really returning to Geno City. Keep checking back for more updates on all the drama that's building since spoilers for The Young and the Restless indicate that various GC residents are experiencing highs and lows. Based on how this whole he said, she said, Paris narrative has intensified. The Young and the Restless spoilers suggest Ashley Abbott may be on the verge of another mental breakdown. 
Ashley clings to the idea that Tucker McCall is deceiving her and that he bought his way out of the situation. Naturally, Ashley's server concurred with Tucker's account of events, as did the other servers Tracy Abbott spoke with, even after they were made additional money offer. Although Ashley appears to be misremembering the confrontation at this point, it's clear that she is afraid of the reality. Ashley's mental state now seems to be the focus of this why and R plot, rather than the actual events that took place in that Paris cafe. Is it really that much of an issue if Tucker tossed a chair or shattered a glass in the end? That's not the problem here. Tucker still attacked Ashley and made her afraid in any case. All Ashley has to do now is start doubting her sanity and feeling deceived by those who are attempting to connect with her. Ashley gets angry at the idea that she might not be correct about her memories because she was so certain of them. It is understandable how it could be difficult for someone who has experienced mental health issues and delusions in the past. Following another intense confrontation with Tucker the week of February 12-16, Ashley will have to deal with a challenging reminder of her past. Ashley might be approaching her breaking point because it sounds like there might be some flashbacks to her past mental health issues. Before she completely loses her mind, Ashley might come to the realization that she requires expert assistance. How will Tucker be affected by the news that Ashley is preparing for a stay in a mental health facility? It might make Tucker feel bad about his part in driving Ashley over the line and soften his attitude toward her. Even if Tucker's account of what happened seems to be accurate, he has occasionally been harsh and even arrogant. Although Tucker was eager to claim victory, it's possible that he should have been more worried about Ashley's deteriorating mental state. Will this push Tucker back Ashley's way and result in a major blow to Audra Charles? For her glissade takeover, Audra needs to hold Tucker close and draw him in, but that strategy might backfire. If Tucker eventually gets back together with Ashley, Audra might suffer multiple setbacks because it appears that she is starting to feel something for him. According to teasers for The Young and the Restless, Tucker might need to go through some introspection soon. Follow along for more information on what's next for the character. The weekly preview clip T. Sally Spectra will share some devastating business news with Chloe Mitchell, so this might open the door for Sally getting yet another career reboot. Which storyline are you looking forward to seeing the most on Monday, February 12? What are your predictions for Billy, Chelsea, Connor, Victor, and Victoria? So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.